Yeah, well, what's the plans for a night then, you know? <sighs> How about I go down, we get some food, a wee bit of Netflix and chill. I know why you like that, don't you? That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. What are you doing there? I'm just seeing what's on TV, mate. So, sound a good plan? Oh, great. Right. I'm going to get the car now and I'll be around with you in a few seconds, alright? Gary, Gary, two scummy. Actually, wait, fuck those plans, two companies, I'll see you later. Fuck me, you're right. Fucking happy days. Thanks for reminding me, here we go. <laughs> We're here today in County Tyrone and we're going to be uh, looking at uh, some gardening tips and tricks, uh, how to look after your root vegetables and more importantly how to keep them clean. Now follow me into the garden. So we're here in County Tyrone and we're talking to uh, Sir Ian Parsley about his wonderful fruit and veg that he'll be showing us tonight so without further ado. God that's that lovely there so it is. Sir Ian. You live in a fucking dirty dick hole here. I do, aye. But how you been? What have you got for us today, Great lad? to see you, John, so it is. Great to see you. Aye. Well, for the you today, my friend, I offer you the absolute beaut. Aye. This butternut squash here, so I do. Fuck, aye, she's a beaut, aye. Oh, aye, she's great, is she, boss? She is, aye, but I tell you something. Take, take a grab of that there. I tell you something, Sri and Parsley, she looks like a fucking big dirty dick and balls. Fuck What do you fucking mean there, mate? Do you mean she looks like a great big ruddy cock? I think so. She looks a bit phallic. I'd, I'd say, I'd say phallic would put her, put her nail on her head there, so it would. Uh, it looks like a big dirty, I mean, if you look at this hair, I mean, it's beautiful, the way she's grown out, you've done a really fucking fantastic job there, but she looks she like a, a raging big dirty heart on rod. Well, I'll tell you what, she's getting entered into the show next week. Beaut. So she is. If she doesn't win, John, there's something fucking desperately wrong there. Yeah. Fuck, aye, that is a wild good and that is. Have you got anything else for us? My friend. I actually, of course I do, yes. Last wee thing here I've got for you here now is, yeah, I think it's a wee bit weird, so you might, but I grew this here wee parsnip and wouldn't you believe it, these hair onions came along and just rested themselves nicely and neatly underneath the, the shaft there, of that parsnip. What, what, what would you say about that there, boy? That's fucking beautiful. That grabs me right, that grabs me right there, so it does. I got me right by the fucking two onions there. Oh, that's there. Two oh, onions and parsnip. So now, she's not as impressive up the shaft, but the see, look at it, if you look at the delicious plums on that. Oh boy, boy, let me tell you. That's something wild. I showed these here to my wife, and she was absolutely delighted. She says, yeah. Ian, why do you have a pair on you like that here yourself? And I says, can't do it, wife. Oh, you can do it. You can yeah. do it. You'd be growing those for about six weeks. Fuck you'd be, you'd be saving right. it up every night. You wouldn't even touch her. I wouldn't even no, touch her. I wouldn't even let her touch these here, boys. These are prize winners, you know. Oh, that is prize winners. I mean, like I'm saying, you know, the shaft here is a wee bit smaller. But you make up, you make up for it. I tell you what, John, I seen the shaft and I thought to myself, not, not good enough. She's not good enough. But see when them onions came out them there, I says to myself, I've got myself a winner there, boy. Let me tell you, Beautiful. them together has to get me gold at the show. Has to be, has that, to be. That, the butternut squash and the other pair, that has to get me gold. Or if it doesn't get me gold, I don't know what to do. Now, I've been putting a lot of effort in the these here, so I have. Oh, yes. It, it's good. It's good. And listen, thank you for coming on. And thank you for coming on. It's a pleasure, us. It's an absolute pleasure. We'll see. Get we'll this. see what else we can get. Right, we'll get the fucking grass cut. I'll we'll get the white one too, so well, mate. Good man. Good man. Right. See you later. Good man. Welcome back folks, as we are entering the final day of our dig here. What we have found so far is what seems to be early Roman era, so it does folks. We've got ourselves, we're digging into the front room, so we are making our way around to hopefully the back room, so our folks. Now, let's get a wee talk with Phil here, see what he has for us. Yes, yes, they've put that over there, we'll deal with that later. 
Phil! Phil, my friend. Phil. Well, finally here we are on the last day. Please, have we found anything that's sort of given us a wee bit of clues of what's happening around here? Tony, Tony, we had a cracking day yesterday. We found the remains of ancient Roman ruins. Excellent. There was a mansion. We found the living room. And then on the second day, we found excavations into the living room and the bathroom. And that we were able to find out that Wi-Fi would have been able to have been installed in a house such as that. Well, that is excellent. Is there any any little sort of, like, trinkets, any sort of bits of history that you found that we... Funny you should say that, up? Tony. Funny you should say that, because there was, it was a little bit dry today, but we then happened to find that. Yes. Just a bit on this. Beautiful. That is, that is a beautiful, beautiful find, Please, well, tell us even more about it. Well, to the untrained eye, it looks a little bit like a bottle of Budweiser. Yes, that's why it is a bottle of Budweiser. Yes, I see what you mean. But if you look closely at the indentations here and the craftsmanship upon this side of the bottle yes, here, yes. and also on the back, it tells you that it was born in the 1st and the 4th, 2015. Oh, that's, uh, that is an absolute brilliant find, Phil, sort of. Obviously, it's only about four months old, but yes. Well, that's certainly a bit of history, isn't it? And hopefully, folks, that can show us a wee bit of what Roman times were like, you know, and just sort of give us a little sort of taste of how they lived their lives, you know? Is there anything else at all? It was very, fun? very tricky back in the Roman times. They had to chew the bottle top off with their own assholes. But uh, very, very interesting find that. Another thing that I found this morning was this bottle of milk. All right. Funny milk. thing about it is I left it out last night. Right. And it, it, it's well, it's a, as you can see, it's been completely fucked. Isn't that amazing, everyone? As you can see, just leaving things alone can absolutely fuck them right up. So, Phil. Let's get the rest of this dig done and see what we can find. Let's do it! Give me everything you've got. Um, uh... If you ever find yourself in trouble, use the moves of Mick Jagger. These are not actually the moves of Mick Jagger, mere imitations. Mick Jagger is not liable for injuries caused by imitating his moves, as they may cause serious injury or even death. Today on today's show we have an interview with controversial French artist Jean Pierre. John's uh, recent work includes stuff like Sexy Leopard and two men tossing each other off until the first one comes. So John is going to show us his latest piece today, folks. So let's get in here and have a word with the man. So folks, here we are with John himself. John, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Ah, uh, oui, oui, bonsoir, merci. Excellent, excellent. So, John, with this new painting that you are unrevealing for us here today, mm. you must be absolutely thrilled. We've we've had a wee word with the Queen of France. She is absolutely excited herself. The Louvre, even now, has a place set aside just for this piece. John, just tell us, are you excited at all about this? Oh, but les les lunes suis ce soir. Well, oui. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So. Before we get to the to the grand unrevealing of this uh, painting, John, just tell us what sort of what mindset were you in? You know, whenever you created it. Je suis je suis miserable dont elle font merde quatre fonds magnifique. No problem, John. That, that's mm. that's perfect. That's that's fantastic. So, folks, without any further ado, here we have the painting. Oh my god, John, what the fuck is that? Oh Jesus Christ, oh my god, it's a fucking masterpiece! John, you must be absolutely thrilled, we, we, what are you going to call it, please, tell us. Uh, a Merde Beat Bushy. Excellent everyone, Merde Beat Bushy, there we have it folks. John, thank you so much for coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed yourself. John. Put it there, friend. We interrupt this news to bring you an urgent appeal.
This is an urgent appeal from the Gerbil Protection Society. This Christmas, please spare a thought for the gerbils living out in the wild. Without your urgently needed donations, literally three gerbils might suffer discomfort this Christmas season. Please give generously. Merry Christmas. Welcome folks, as you can see here, this young gerbil here has lost his way in this world and without your help and the urgent demand of needs of funds, we can save this gerbil before it becomes too late. Gerbil! Gerbil! It's alright young man, I'm here to save you, please. Gerbil! Please, put the weapon down. It's alright, it's alright. Gerbil! It's alright my friend. I'm going to take you to a better place, okay? Gerbil! I'm going to take you in. You're going to be happy, okay? We'll get you out of this dirty old place. Yes, sir. I'm terrible. Come on, my friend. Come on. Terrible. Come on, we'll go. Let's terrible. Go. Bastard, you fucking tech! Come on, get in the fucking car! Come on, get the fucking car! Come on, you fucker! Go, go get in the car! Come on, get in the fucking car! Fuck's sake, come on, quickly! Come on, I can't fuck steal the car started. I'm fucking trying! Hurry up! What the fuck's going on? Oh, our tail! Come on, I can't fucking do it! What the just fuck? Jesus, just give us the beans! And if you are gonna give her the beans, make sure. It's Johnson's beans. Phil, Phil, my friend. Well, today on Tank Team, what uh, what stuff have we found here today at this dig? Well, Tony, absolutely cracking day today. We found this. Can you believe it? It's an ancient, well, I don't know if it's ancient or not, but it, it seems to be some sort of primitive style of getting gas in houses. Yes, it looks like some sort of gas work type sort of here, from what I can see, Philip. Actually, no, funny enough, I think, uh, I think this is put down this afternoon. I reckon that we've probably boxed it by bringing it up again. You don't think we've cut off people's gas supplies, do we? We might have fucked it, yeah. Oh, well, that's what we always do in town, team. Great. We always fuck things up and leave them to be fucking fucked. Class, right. Well, we'll, we'll, let's get out we'll of here. We'll bury before, it again. Yes, let's and then get, we'll out get before, the fuck out of here. Before the Rogers come, come let's on, let's get going. Do you know what's weird? You know, whenever like, you're in school and there's this girl you really fancy her, a couple of years down the line, you get her on Facebook and you're like, she's still a fit bird. And then you scroll down a wee bit more and you're like, how the fuck? Is she going out with some guy like fucking potato head? And then they're engaged? Just doesn't make sense this world, so it doesn't. You know what? I give up on it. Guys like that air just fucking piss me off. See you later, kids. In 1997, the young boy and his dog changed the world as we know it. Rex, the dog needed life-saving surgery. And the only way to save him was for young dog to give him half his brain. The operation was a success. But infused the keen sense of the dog and his own fever for justice to gather the great Doggin. It wasn't long for tragedy to strike as young Doggin's parents were killed in a late night Doggin accident. Fueled by loss of his parents and the first for rage, he is now on a mission to raid the world of fondling and snooshing in the back of cars. He is Doggin the Fighting Hunter.
Good evening, folks, and you join us once again, hot on the trail of another dogging mission. After reports of couples in the woods, dogging's gone to check it out. Pick a spider, boy. Little couple over there thinking they're sweetie pies. Let's go over there and fucking burn them. Right. I sent some over there, so I do. So, save you any hassle. Give me that camera. I'll go over here again. Let's go. Right, right. Get down. Get down the fuck. I see them. They're just over there. Looks like they're having a bit of fun, so they are. But once I crash that party, let me tell you, there won't be no fun being had. Let's get these fuckers. Right. Come on. Come on. I see them. Let's get a wee bit of cover. Here we are. Right. There's the two of them over there. and you're coming with me. I wasn't talking. I was raping the bitch. What? What the fuck do you mean you're raping the bitch? Come here. You mean you weren't dogging back there? Nah, I was fucking her against her will, bitch. Jesus, sorry, man. I want you go. That's not a fucking business. thought, bitch. That's the rapist catcher fucking thing. Huh. Another solved mystery. So you saw it, kids. Don't ever let me catch you dogging, or I will find you. See you later. Damn it. These are my woods. Don't think about stepping in them or I'll catch you. 